Today we're going to talk about the uh, care for veiled chameleons. They're actually called veiled chameleons because they have a little veil on their head. <laughs> cool. <laughs> So coloring with the chameleons, um, the female is going to stay around a green to brown. The male is going to usually color out in pretty patterns that are orange and yellow and green. They come from Yemen and Saudi Arabia, so they are a little bit more of a desert species of chameleons. That's why you're only going to want to spray them once a day. They get about 16 to 20 inches. The males will um, generally get a little bit bigger than the females. They usually live around 6 to 8 years. Uh, a female chameleon might have a little bit shorter of a lifespan because even without a male, they do produce unfertile eggs and that can take away from their life. We recommend the minimum cage for them is going to be 30 inches by 30 inches by 16 inches. Uh, right here we have 36 by 36 by 18. Um, so you can see we have some variants. You can go higher than that, of course. We never put a chameleon in a glass cage because a screen cage will increase air circulation and they really need to keep the air constantly circulated. Good. Along with air, uh, increasing air circulation, you also want to constantly keep the air circulated to kind of dissipate all the humidity from spraying them. Although they do need to be sprayed heavily, they also need to be drying out the tank actively just so you don't get any buildup of moisture or anything like that. Mm. So the chameleon is going to need two different bulbs, a heat and a UVB. Um, you can do a strip UVB or just a light fixture UVB. Um, they need to sit around 100 degrees basking. So on this um, specific tank we have a 100 watt basking lamp. Uh, it's really good to create a lot of um, areas for your chameleon to climb so that they can kind of choose where they want to sit with the temperature, if they want to sit close to the light or farther away. We use uh, a mixture of jungle mix or reptosoil along with reptobark for our chameleons. We sprayed the veiled chameleons once a day with water, give them a good soak with it. Uh, you don't want to do more than once because they are from the desert, so they don't need that much humidity, but they cannot see um, standing water, so a water bowl won't be used by them. They can really only see water when it's moving, and they actively feel the change in humidity in the air. We uh, use a lot of climbing decorations. As you see, we fill up the whole tank with uh, grapevine or iguana branches of such. Um, this just provides a lot of space for them to be climbing in surface area so they can move up that gradient and down the temperature gradient. Uh, as well as we put some fake plants, you can do real plants in there if you want to try at that. It's just so um, it, it kind of has more surface area for the misting to be on there so they can lick the water up. Veil chameleons are actually um, omnivores, so they are going to eat vegetation, being mustard greens, turnip greens. Um, and stuff like that, but they won't eat fruit because that can cause mouth rot in them So you want to stay away from those sugary fruits and stuff like that But they do like greens and then they are going to eat a lot of crickets, insects um, Mealworms, waxworms, stuff like that These guys do need a calcium supplement um, You can put that right onto their crickets whenever you give them to them before that uh, and that kind of just helps them metabolize and absorb their UVB correctly. Um, once a week we do give our um, veiled chameleons vitamin dust. It's basically just like a multivitamin that you would take every morning, but for them it can help um, them color out as well as grow as much as they can. Chameleons aren't really the most handleable reptiles um, by far, but you can tame them down potentially. They generally get stressed out easily by a lot of handling though, so we'd recommend leaving them alone for a majority of the time. Okay, she's gonna scoop them up onto her hand there. And they love to climb, so you gotta always <laughs> keep your hands positioned for them to climb. So yeah, she didn't grab them, she just kind of scooped them up in her hand there, so. And then this guy is shedding. As you see, they have pretty cool little hands. Um, you gotta make sure they're not gonna fall, obviously, but they have the little hands and their eyes, they move in different directions, which is also really cool about them. As you can see, they do have that veil that we mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. That's cool. And so you just keep your hands cupped and let them, you just don't like grab them or anything. Yeah, they are really fragile. They got 
and they stress out easily as we rec um, had said earlier as well so just keeping them the surface area for them to climb on making sure that they're not going to make any big leaps or anything they can move fast even though they seem like they're kind of slow dark colored oh, oh now he's angry. yeah he doesn't they don't like cameras definitely not but he's standing up really tall so i'll kind of move out but he's actually not that bad colored they're yeah. really stressed out they would turn that like really dark with black spots all over but he's puffing himself out so okay so a few of you own a veil chameleon their daily care is going to be doing that heavy um spraying in the morning or evening whatever time you guys um you decide on and then you're going to want to spot clean for poops and other fallen food or dead crickets um, on top of that you're going to want to change out the greens put in new greens as well as um throwing in some crickets or putting in some worms for them to eat. The babies will generally eat about a dozen and a half, all the adults will eat about a dozen crickets a day.